Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we can fortify pretty easily. And check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem pretty excited about this place. Yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Jesus! Julius, what's wrong, Julius? What the heck? He just fell. Now he's getting back up. What the hell was that? Don't know. That that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nope. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Welcome to the channel everybody. I'm Bundy aka Bundy Games and in today's video we are back with the Trumbull Valley Trilogy Volume 1 State of Decay Year 1 Survival Edition. This is episode number 11. So guys in the last episode I explained what happened to me and the missions that I lost but we were able to recover from that uh, after I started a, a whole new playthrough, but we got to the dock the dock was able to make it through and uh, Save Ed so now Ed Is now well and playable and all of my people seem to be doing pretty good Nobody's sick. Nobody's tired. I still have some people I need to to befriend like uh, well, we got gauge we friended him <laughs> at the last episode and this guy he's a friend he was a friend from day one but I don't really care about him uh, Sam we did a mission with her I don't know if it actually moved the gauge but there's a, a particular mission that we have to do with Sam that automatically gives her a friendship status I believe and for whatever reason oh there's a mission tied to Jacob too that I believe is gonna enable us to Has friend him there goes Quentin again. Danica is a friend. Uh, she's a lush. Which means her wits improve very slowly. So don't know if we're going to keep her or not. Um, and Ed. We need to work on Ed too. So. We're rolling with Maya right now. I'm going to do two things. I guess I can go and do this real quick. I know what it is and you guys probably remember seeing this in episode number eight I believe so we'll do that and we have Maya this time oh they moved one of my vehicles I don't like that they moved this vehicle here You know what I need to do also? I don't know. I think. Gotta be careful because sometimes supplies disappear. Okay. Let's do that. Is that the only only thing we need? Food we could do. Oh, we're low on fuel. Wow. I have a two ammo and a and a medical. OK, 
Okay. Okay, that'll be 30. 30, 41. And we can go up to 50. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Okay, now we're sitting at 41, which is good. We'll go ahead and do the food. And what else? Okay. Oh man, it put us over. Fuel. That's ammo. That's nothing. So we have no fuel. Oh, we do. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this little car. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Sweet. And we're gonna put the SUV. Come on, that'll get it cleaned up. Let's park well enough. And then we're going to move this over here. take the truck wait do I have something in here oh yeah Go see Army Activity. How are things on the home front? Tense. People are starting to get antsy, what with the crowding and all. I'll swing by when I get the chance. We'll talk about it. There's some trouble we might want to look into. Anger management. You can't kill us for that. Uncle Sam would seem to disagree with you there. Our orders are to evict squatters with lethal force if they resist. You resisted, so... Just let us go. I, I got kids, man. And yet you're out here, violating quarantine, unlawfully occupying people's homes. Great parenting. Look, we, we're sorry, right? We're just trying to get by, same as everybody. You got 30 seconds to get out of my sight. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. <laughs> Jesus. This is about the biggest crock of horse shit ever. We're done here, Sergeant. Tell your men to prep for evac and RTB. Yes, ma'am. Why don't you make yourself useful and go babysit those two? Oh, now he talking smack to Maya. What the heck? Can I talk to him? Nope. 
he's like it totally ignoring her. So last time I did this with Gurban, it didn't make it did really didn't make a difference. I'm about to search our house, Captain. See what it got in here. Oh, what I need to do also, I don't need to do it, but, oh, I can't do this. Upgrade. Oh, I need a library. So we're good. We're good. We're going to do, we're going to get eight more beds. And that's all we can do for now. All right. Can't believe that noise didn't bring these albums. Whoa, whoa! Got another backpack. Good. Nice. We need the out. Um. Oh man, I want this. We're coming back. Yeah, y'all need to fight him. Got another horde coming too. Wait, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I continue to do these things. Okay, we got some cardio for running. Not gonna take the alarm clock just yet. Uh oh. Oh shit. That's gonna bring trouble. Candlestick. We're gonna take the meds. We got something big coming in. They well, should be fine. Gone from bad to fucked. Better do one more sweep. Make sure everything's clear. Whoo, Maya. I'll take the coffee. Remy, you got a bag. I'm not gonna help the soldiers. Let them fight. I'll quiet here. Wait, we love meds? That was meds? Oh, okay. Yeah, we come back to get that. Okay, Maya, we want to specialize 
probably gonna do assault weapons, I would think. As soon as we find some. Y'all good? Okay. I gotta go find Karen and her friend. I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I just ate the chips. Then I gotta find that didn't work. I can't. Oh, I'm being an idiot again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I do these things. Uh let's put that in there. Okay, let's see if we can find these people. Dang, girl. We can't search it. Hey, are you in there? We only got one slot. Oh, I'm out there. I'm gonna take this. Okay, we gotta come back. Wait, they're not looking through the whole house. I didn't go in the kitchen. Consider this one searched. I'm running, but I know I got no space. be a waste I'm not gonna do it oh, crap they got three speed I need a breather come on Maya you might have to fight anybody home nobody home time to move on okay so they gotta be here Doors open. Hey, are you? What you want? Why don't you come with me? We've got room. Really? My God, thank you. Thought for sure we were gonna die out here. I gotta bring them home. Come on, Karen. The army guys left. Good thing we up. Soldiers want anyways. That beats the hell out of me. They just showed up, dragged us out onto the street, and sending those guys in hazmat suits. Started taking a bunch of samples and talking about infection vectors and a bunch of shit I didn't understand. I think that woman was in charge, Captain Montresor or something. Not like she even looked at us. Right up there. Oh, that noise. Thanks. Cannot believe you. You want to run away. Again. Come on, Lily. That's not fair. You're right. It's not. We built a home here, and you just want to abandon it because things are getting tough. Hey, what's going on? 
I was just trying to tell Lily that we need to start looking for a new place to live. We're too cramped in here, and our runners keep having to go farther and farther from the church to find supplies. Seems reasonable. Things have been pretty tight lately. Fine. Then maybe you should bail on us too. Dang, Lily. Ah, man. I almost wish I hadn't done what I just done. See, we lost some food. Oh my, I just gave away some of her ammo. Okay. Alright, we're going to do this mission, guys, because that's going to open up the ability to change bases, and we do want that. So, yeah, we got time to do it. Who am I going to pick to do it with? He has leadership, which is what we want. Let's see, this guy... Played golf. Yeah. Funeral director. Counseling experience. Okay. And he's my friend. And Karen. Karen is just like Danica. They're not worth anything, but Karen looks looks cooler. That doesn't mean we're gonna keep her. All right. See, this is Danica over here. She's all in black. And Karen has that nice little uh, bubble jacket. All right. We're going to change to Marky Mark. How did he get hurt? Because he has a leadership skill. Let's go, Mark. We're going to talk to her. Because uh, leadership actually helps um, befriend people quicker. And we need to befriend Ed. I forgot about that. Jacob, I'm sorry. Uh, should we? No. Nah. Let her cool down. She'll come around eventually. Might not be a bad idea to get out of here for a while, though. You feel like going house hunting? Yeah, come on. I'm on. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. Come on. So I wasted materials on building up the bunkhouse, but that's fine. Um, we'll take the truck. Idiot, get inside the truck. Come here. Get in the truck. Oh, snap. I left some things in the truck. God dang it. Forget it. Let's go, Jacob. So Jacob is going to take us all the way to Marshall. Which is what we want. So there's only one other home site in this area. But we're not going to use it. It's this house over here. We're not going to use that. So, what was that with you and Lily? Hmm, it's a long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was 9. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh anyway, my god. 
diagnosed. My dad was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. And as soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. Go on. Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this is my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. This could be a potential home site as well. This could work. Nice size, remote enough so there's not too many zombies. Remote enough we'd have to drive to get anywhere, but I, mean, I see your point. It's like right in the middle of everything. So it actually works. But we're not gonna do that either. This is a crash plane. Hey, y'all leave me alone. We're going to be seeing a lot more jugs from here on out. Wait, 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 wait. This is what I was thinking of. This is where we're going to move. Now that's the kind of place that we could really stretch out in. Yeah, but can you imagine how many people we need to keep it secure? It's okay, Marcus. This is the house that Jacob wants to live in. You know what? I'm going to keep going. There's one more location. over here right here this place doesn't look much bigger than the church yeah but it's right in the middle of Marshall plenty of supply options plus it looks like we could build on the roof if we had to so I don't think I missed anything Those are all the choices that we have now. There's one more location, which is across the bridges. It's fairgrounds, but we can't get there yet until we progress in the story. So we're moving to the bigger town. As long as we have enough materials and people. place out it's got a big yard a privacy wall that we can fortify pretty easily and check out that tree fort we could turn that into a watchtower easy you seem pretty excited about this place yeah well yeah when i was a kid my best friend sally she lived in this house and i was so jealous i always wanted to live here well then 
Let's take a look inside. Jesus! Julius, what's wrong, with Julius? What the heck? He just fell. Now he getting back up. What the hell was that? Don't know. That that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nope. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Okay. Now they actually want us to go to the warehouse. So this was a, a little tease. You can move there where Jacob wants to move, but there's a better location down the street. Bro, you left the door open. You idiot. Oh no, Jacob. You gotta do better than that. Get out. Come here. Now you see why I don't like Jacob? Like get in the truck like a normal person. How I get blood on my truck? I guess I did run over something. I think that's the most exhaustive survey of Trumbull County ever. I don't think we left any stone unturned. So, what do you think? I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort. Black fever. He just left. He just left. Alright. And all for us to move here. We need 12 people and 50 materials. We have. Hey, I don't want to panic you, but we may have a problem. What happened? I've been talking to some of the other survivors. A bunch of them are talking about some new disease that's been hitting their people. Has anybody seen Jack? He's still missing. Okay. So. Guys, in the next episode, we're going to begin working on moving to this location. We have enough people. We have the materials. We just have to uh, allocate it and put it into the uh, our supplies, I guess I should say. And then we'll be able to move. Because we actually have... What do we have? We got 31 and we need 50? Yeah. And... Uh, Oh, that's what I got in here? Alright. So, um... We're gonna search back home. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm supposed to be ending the episode. So yeah, guys, we're gonna, uh... Should I end it here? Because something cool might happen on my way driving back. Let's go home. We we'll ended there. Yeah, you never know. We're not going to take the shortcut this time. And we'll see. So now they're talking about the black fever. This is one of the bridges here that we can't cross just yet. a horde up ahead
No, I'm not going to do it. There should be plenty enough materials in Spencer's mill. Hey, look. Cool. We got to come get that. He got a Mustang, too. Actually, I think it was faster going this way. Yeah, we got a few places that we can search, actually. The army may have use for you. I've got an idea. All right. See, Marcus, you got anything on you? No. I'll take this stuff out. And, uh, yeah, we don't need meds. Put this stuff up. Okay, guys, we're going to work on moving. Um, all we got to do is get, see, 30. We need 19. Hey, feeling patriotic? We could use your eyes to help us clear out some Zeds. Yeah, you're going to have to wait on that, Eric. So all we need is two rucksacks of materials, guys, and then we can get ready to move. You know what? Let's see. That way we won't have to waste time. Are we still working on the bed situation? Yeah, we are. Wow, okay. Let's see if I have I think I got one for sure. If I wouldn't have worked on the beds. Oh we got two. Okay. Now the trick is going to be getting to the warehouse before they waste them. Alright. And um, what are we going to drive? We're going to take a military SUV. ammo in there got nothing in here nothing in here got the materials in here oh crap that's not the mill that's the oh man we gotta bring this son of a gun I mean we are gonna come back and get stuff but This stuff is still empty, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, we can actually move as soon as. Got some meds. Where you at? We got two stacks of meds and two stacks of ammo. We are ready to go. So I'm going to end it right here, guys, just in case 
anything funny happens I'm gonna sit in a truck and then we're gonna uh we're gonna take off <laughs> we're just gonna take off and drive straight back to the warehouse so again guys if you're enjoying this series please drop a like if you're new to the channel please subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you moving day guys moving day in the next video